Hello YouTube and welcome back to my third episode in this series of me building my CNC plasma. In this episode I'm standing inside of the machine. That's how deeply involved I am right now, it's crazy. In this episode the plan is to start mount the stepper engines on the X and Y axis and mount the belt pulleys with the belt. I haven't got them yet, I'm getting them any day now. And maybe, maybe start working on the Z axis. I have to wait and see. I haven't exactly planned everything because I'm not like a computer robot. I make things a little as I feel like it. Yeah, I'm a little free spirit like that, you know. But what can you say? Uh, but I'm definitely starting to mount the uh, stepper engines because I'm so so anxious to fire it up and test drive it a little bit. So let's get busy building! <laughs> made some easy drawings of uh, how I want the uh, uh, motor plates to look like and uh, I'm gonna make three because uh, this design is going to work on both sides of the x-axis uh, y-axis and on the x-axis also so now I'm gonna go up and uh, draw a CAD and uh, make a cam file and then I'm going down back to my 640 CNC router and mill this out of this aluminium plate. The other plate is mounted in the 640 router and ready to rock. So let's hit play and cut me some motor plates. I'm 
came out really nice made two left and one right and this plate I'm going to bolt onto the plasma frame because I want to easily change this if I'm in the future going for a bigger motor time to make some brackets I have drilled and tapped some angle iron to weld to the frames then I can uh, mount these two so I can change them if I have, want to have a Maybe in the future have a bigger servo motors or whatever. So now it's time to fire up the welder and weld this in place. go we got stepper motors in the house no but both the um, y-axis stepper motor and the x-axis stepper motor is now mounted and it turned out really really good i have lots and lots of adjust adjustability if i want to change the gearing or such and the plates are easy to take off if i want to change it to a bigger stepper motor I can make a new plate and bolt on, no problem at all. And uh, the plates are the same. There are two left plates and one right plate. So it's like a module system up in this. I am really, really proud of myself. Now I just have to wait for the belt pulleys because they haven't showed up yet. And uh, when I get them, it's really really close to fire up this bad boy and do a little testing of the axis for me now to go out and sit by the mailbox and wait for some belt pulleys finally the belt pulleys have arrived so now it's just time to make some holes for the servo motors and drill and tap for the set screws to lock them in place. So off to the late we go.
Finally, the belt pulleys and belt are mounted both on the Y axis as we see here and on the X axis. It turned out really good if I may say so myself. So I think this will conclude the episode and in the next episode we start uh, making the Z axis and that I'm really looking forward to. But then as usual if you like this content, please like and subscribe and if you think I can make my videos better in any way, just please let me know in the comments or leave a comment if you have any question on how I'm building this and thank you for watching. Bye YouTube!